Assalamu alaikum habibati and welcome to another Arab Man Top 3. These are my favorite things about Pearl Jam's Better Man, performed live at Madison Square Garden. If you haven't checked out my reaction to this song, please do. It's in the description below. It's a very personal song for me and it's one of my favorite performances of all time. At number three, my third favorite thing about the song is a little something that Joey likes to call the arc of the song. And here's what we mean by that. If you listen to the album version, it's got a very specific tone, this song. But when you listen to this live performance, and almost every live performance of this song that they put together, it always starts off in this sad place, this almost desperate place, but then builds and builds and builds to the point where it becomes a dance, hype, fun, jump around, rock and roll song where they're all jamming. And the idea that they can shift around the dynamics of a song like that adds so much to why this performance is actually one of my favorite performances of all time. The crowd is there, they're feeling something sad in the beginning, and then as the song develops, that sadness turns into absolute joy and happiness. It becomes a party. It's a beautiful thing. It's rock and roll, and it's Pearl Jam. My number two favorite thing about the song, it's so hard to just like three things, but my number two is the lyrics, the song, and I said this, it's a very sad song in the beginning. The song starts off with just guitar and lyrics, and it's just melancholy all over, man. The color blue is splashed on this thing like nothing else. It's so sad. It's so, so, so sad. And then it picks up to where it gets to my favorite line of the entire song, and that line is, she lies and says she's in love with him can't find a better man and the idea is that that is such a terrible thing to say it's such a terrible emotion going through there there's shame in there there's guilt in there there's someone that's completely lying to somebody else it's just it's such a terrible thing all these bad emotions should be related to this set of lyrics but the music over it is hopeful the sad part this the music is, is sad in the beginning and then when it comes to this part which is supposed to be the worst possible human emotions put together. The music becomes hopeful. It just creates such an enormous dimension in the sound of the song and the feelings you, you get. I think built on that specific chord progression and that melody in the music and that hopefulness being built is why the song develops into becoming something that is actually happy and fun to listen to, even though it's actually very sad and very dark. I'd highly recommend you listen to this song and you please go over the lyrics while you listen to them. They're some of my favorite lyrics ever. And at number one, my absolute favorite thing about this performance is the crowd becoming the band and I mean becoming the band not just sing along because again Eddie plays the first couple chords says one or two words and then this the entire crowd takes over everything they're singing it it becomes their song and just the idea that a band can get to a place where they get up on stage and they start to play one of their original pieces of music and then every Everybody in the audience takes it and makes it their own. Just think of how many people the song has affected. Just think of how many people have listened to this song and digested it in their own way and made it their own. It's just such a beautiful feeling and it's something that all of us, every single person that listens to Pearl Jam and listens to this song, we all own a bit of this song. And in that performance, that's exactly what happens. Everybody starts singing, it's a chant, it's mesmerizing, it is absolutely beautiful for a band it's possibly one of the most humbling experiences you can ever feel or can get in your entire life and that continues throughout the performance because as the song progresses it goes into this happy jam that's just about jumping around and dancing and just having fun you can see that in the crowd the crowd is just exploring all those emotions and then when Eddie does that bit where he's singing and he's expecting them to sing back he's doing the ad lib thing it's happening dude they're expecting it they want it they're at that concert for these moments and it happens and it's just when those things transpire they're just beautiful and amazing and they're what music are all about well thank you so much for watching this arab man top three please consider liking commenting and subscribing it helps out the channel a lot small reminder if we hit 20,000 subs by the end of the year i'm shaving off my head hair i'm shaving off the hair off of my head we'll catch you in the next one salamat